According to the U.S. State Department, Latin America continues to be a region filled with source, transit, and destination countries for human trafficking, sex trafficking, and forced labor. Tens of thousands of those children end up in our country as migrants, where the victimization continues. A couple with ties to Maine are working to help young girls in Peru rescued from traffickers start new lives. Their nonprofit is located in Oyoten, Peru. It's a town of about 10,000 people. Newsletter's Vivian Lee has the story. Bob McClure had spent 18 years serving as a chaplain for the Sea Dogs when he knew he wanted to change direction in his life. After hearing a minister talk about the rise in human trafficking in South America, he headed to Peru. He met his wife, Cotton, who was working for Compassion International. The couple wanted to prevent children from vanishing from neighboring towns and villages. And about a week later, they had found the kids in the gutters and stuff like that, which had been totally harvested as far as their organs. And that's, that's become a bigger part of human trafficking now because there's, you know, so many people that need the organs that they'll do anything to get them. Children, he says, in many cases are voluntarily sold to traffickers by their families who are too poor to care for them. They're told the lies of, well, we can provide a better life for your child. Um, you allow us to take your child, they'll clean for us, they'll cook for us, um, work in homes, we'll give them a good education, buy them clothes provide a place to stay, and the parents never hear from the kids again. Instead, these children are being forced into prostitution, even as infants. As, as sick as it sounds, you know, there are newborn babies that are on the list for being trafficked. Five years ago, the couple started a nonprofit called Maria's Safe House to help children who have no place to go after police rescue them. Many of these girls can't go back to their families because they were trafficked by their own relatives. Cotton says there will be music, ballet, and art classes, but most importantly, staff will provide love and security. Prepare them for the future, she says, because one day they are going to want to achieve things in their lives, and they don't have a family support system. We hope to be that for them. But the nonprofit still needs fully trained staff, educational and other supplies, and more improvements. The couple, along with their four-year-old daughter, Shania, are in Maine for the next eight months. During this time, they hope to partner with churches and other organizations. A GoFundMe is set up with a goal to raise more than $75,000. Former Sea Dogs are also lending a hand. Connections the couple hope will one day result in establishing safe houses throughout Latin America and give these exploited children a chance for a new life. In Portland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.